I was shot on duty, sir. The doctor said we should move somewhere quiet, away from the city. Cross seat 9am, Jimmy Conway break out of the maximum security prison at Western Bay. We all know what we're dealing with here. Jimmy Conway rides into this town. He'll be bringing hell with him. Absolutely. You know, one of our biggest references was uh, No Country for Old Men and, and certainly looking at the way that, you know, Coen Brothers were a really big influence in the way we made the film. I mean, they made Blood Simple for $700,000. They raised private money with no distributor and went out and made this incredible film that had felt like it had such a big scale. But if you actually break it down, it's, it's cheap and sort of down and dirty sort of filmmaking. So we kind of took that mentality in terms of making Red Hill. And, yeah, and um, you look at the characters mm. that the Coen Brothers have created in the past, they're not kind of as iconic as they are, they're, mm. they're, they're laced with faults yeah. and with quirks, yeah. and it's no different here, I felt, for Cooper, the very first time you see him, he's forgotten his gun, mm. he's, you know, <laughs> he, as much as he's a cop, yeah. he's, this is his first day, like a city cop being thrown into the world of country cop, it's two different things. Mm. Same, you would think the same set of skills, but it's a different culture. Mm. One thing we didn't want to go out was just make a blatant shoot 'em up that didn't really mean anything or have any weight. And it felt like, well, Ryan bringing this vulnerability to the role, and I guess it was a sense of innocence because the, the arc of his character is the city boy needs to become a cowboy. And that's literally, you know, and it happens in a, the visual metaphor of, you know, literally getting on a horse. And throughout one day, it's, uh, you see the, the transformation within this guy. Thank you.